Look, you can't use speed paints to paint things like Space Marines. These ones, the Armour Paint and Speed Paints. Why? Well, painting over flat armour panels is not what it's designed to do. Oh, have you tested it? Well, no. Well, I kind of know what you mean, because a couple of weeks ago, I was asked by a range of people if I could test out the Army Painter Speed Paints. Now, I was lent the starter set from the Army Painter Speed Paint range. Now, first of all, I tested out a Space Marine, and as per the Speed Paint kind of guidance, I primed it in a gray primer. And having a go with it to start off with, I found it really, really hard. Everything I was doing, it was going wrong. It was really blotchy and a, a rubbish paint job. It's really annoying me, I just couldn't figure it out. And once the paint had dried, the final result was really rubbish. The paint had gone all, all thick and gloopy and, and pulled in places and it just didn't look right at all. But then I thought, it's gone all thick and gloopy. What if I thinned it? So what I did then, I washed it off, stripped it down and reprimed it. So to get over the contrast issue, first of all, I started with a black Mecha primer because it's got a nice satin-like finish. Over that, I then dry brushed a dark gray. This one was from the Vallejo Model Air, so therefore it's quite a nice thin paint. But in doing so, I got a bit over enthusiastic and it was looking a bit overall too gray. So to really punch that contrast higher, I went back with the black and just dry brushed in some of the shadowy areas to make the contrast between the dark and the light a bit stronger. So after that dark gray and the black had dried, I then went back over it with a lighter dry brush with a lighter gray. And once that had dried, picking out the highlights once again with a dry brush initially with a nice bright white. Now this one was from Vallejo Model Air, so once again, quite a nice thin paint. Once that dry brush had finished, I then used a small detail brush and really picked out some of the really, uh, the brightest highlights, little spot highlights here and there to really pick out and make them kind of pop. And then once that dried, I got the Highland Blue, which is quite a nice, fairly bright but dark blue from the Iron Painter Speed Paint range. And then I thinned it down. Now I thin it down a fair amount, almost like, almost one to one. So it was quite nice and thin. And I painted that over the entire thing, being really careful to make sure that it didn't pull on the surfaces of the, of the flat plates of the armor. And it only kind of really pulled in the recesses. Then once that had dried, it looked okay, but it was, wasn't a very bright, strong color. So going with the rule of two thin coats, I then repeated that again, once again going over the entire thing and being careful not to allow any of the speed paint to pull on the flat surfaces of the armor. And once that had dried, it was looking pretty good. You could see the gradients, the highlights, the shadows coming through from the underpainting. But what you didn't get was any of that kind of blotchiness, which you can get when using speed paints neat on a flat surface like this. Then to pick out some of the details and keeping it really simple, I just use a skin tone from Vallejo Model Air. And then once that had dried, then using the Crusader skin uh, from the Army Painter Speed Paint range as a wash over the face, just to pick out the details in that. And with all speed paints, when it's wet, it looked a bit rubbish, but once it dried, it actually gave quite a nice effect. And then after picking out some of the details on the armor and giving him that ultramarine color scheme, and it's pretty much done. And the end result is a nice smooth paint job. There's no blotchiness and you've got a nice gradient between those highlights and shadows. So as far as speed painting goes, yeah, it's basically dry brushing and then just two thin coats. Yes, I know it goes against the whole one coat solution, but it is only two coats and it also means you can get quite a range of them in a batch painting done fairly quickly and get them on the tabletop. So yeah, it turns out you can use Army Painter Speed Paints especially with a slap chop approach and also with two thin coats to get a comparatively quick and easy Space Marine color scheme ready for the tabletop. Now, I really hope that helped. If you did, please hit that like button and please share this video with anybody else you think might find it helpful. And I'll see you on the next project.